Hi, I'm Michaela, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, what we're going to be doing is spring cleaning my IKEA greenhouse cabinets. I do clean them periodically, and this one has this, well, both of them have become particularly grimy, I'm noticing. And I also think that the more spring cleaning I do, the more spring weather we are bound to have. <laughs> I, I know that's not true, but in my head, I feel like it makes a difference. I don't know. We're supposed to get snow in two days. And this time of year, like it's the beginning of March, so it's still gonna be cold where I'm at. I just, I take cold weather so personally this time of year. Every time we have like a 70 degree day, I think there's no way it'll get cold again. I just can't imagine it getting cold again. And then it does. And I get really upset, which why I can't control the weather. But anyway, I'm ready for spring and it's got me in the mood to do some spring cleaning. And it has since uh, pretty much the day after Christmas, I'm ready for spring. And that's when I start my spring cleaning. So today we're doing the Ikea greenhouse cabinets. Okay, and hopefully you can see the whole cabinet. I have, this camera is like, it's very different from my other one. So I'm still figuring out the angles and I have it as far back as I can have it. So, and this is weird. I'm like bending over to, <laughs> to talk, but I am also going to clean all of the plants in here. So I'm gonna empty them out and go put them in the shower and I'm gonna give them a little bath while I'm cleaning the cabinet. love this plant. Look at it. So pretty. These leaves are just... So apparently not a lot of people like anthuriums. What? I don't... I just... Look! You know? So pretty. Romeo pink lady she's so cute I just watered her so talking about this in multiple videos but 
they're working on their what they're doing is replacing the gas and water mains on our street and it is taking forever so i can't just not film until they're done because they'll work for a couple days and then they will fall off the face of the earth for a few days and then they'll come back and i have no idea so um i'm not going to be working around their schedule so Anyway, yeah, that's what Bernadette's barking at. But isn't it weird? Like, if you know Bernadette, she seems just like a little cuddly teddy bear, and she is. But she also has the most terrifying bark and growl. So it's just an interesting juxtaposition. I'm glad I'm on her good side. So I tried to go get her, and she's ignoring me. She um, is already back to her little nap, so. I will try not to disturb her, but she will be in this video at some point or another. I won't make you watch me clean without even showing you my cute dog. Okay, I have to show you the queen. Look at her. Oh my gosh, this is so big. I, I don't know what I'm doing with this plant. It's in just a clear cup with sphagnum moss. No drainage holes. It lives in this cabinet and is thriving and I don't really know why, but. Oh my gosh, this is so gross. How did I let this happen? <laughs> well, there's Bernadette. What a good dog. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Okay, anyway, this um, Hoya Kodata Sumatra has attached itself to this wire grid and I am doing some restructuring with my cabinets. So it is time for me to cut it out of here and I've got my new shears. There I got I got cute ones this time. So we'll see we'll see what these babies can do. <laughs> and I they're wet because I just sanitized them. They're brand new, but that's my hill to die on. Sanitize your shears. Gosh, this is wrapped around here really tight. How cool. There's a little teeny leaf. I'm gonna... Hi, Bernadette. There she is. There's my barking machine. Oh, what a good dog. Also, yes, sometimes I do praise her for barking and I probably shouldn't but like Bernadette no but like when I'm here by myself I really don't mind having a dog that will bark because if somebody's up to no good I feel like that bark may just deter them I, I feel like I do have some, what, of a little bit of control over her though, so she's not like jumping the fence and attacking people. Gosh, I am so chatty today. That is really kind of unlike me, actually. I'm 
Another cool thing about Hoyas, if you needed another reason to love them, they are pet safe. Okay, something I'm noticing is like these little things where that hold the glass in, they're starting to be a little bit of rust. So that is not good. I The good thing is where this desk grommet is, there are some scratches and I did spray that part with rust inhibitor, but I didn't realize I was gonna need to do the whole thing. So I think I might, try and go get like some white nail polish or something and cover that up until I can get in here and spray the whole thing with rust inhibitor. My left hand doesn't clean as well. It's basically, well, obviously, not obviously, I guess there are left-handed people out there. I'm right-handed, like most people. So this one's just like, it's like a ring holder or a plant holder. It's, <laughs> it's not that useful, but it is very, I don't know. Can you tell I'm really thrown off by the road work thing? Like, I just needed to do something. So thank you for, thank you for watching. If you're watching this and I seem insane, I just, my brain needed something to focus on instead of how torn up everything is and hoping they'll come back and fix it. How there gets to be sphagnum moss on the walls of this thing, I will never understand, but alas, here I am wiping sphagnum moss off the walls. Also, show the wire grid a little bit better. So I have been really pleased with how well this wire grid is holding up because I had to, to get around these little things to hold the glass in. I had to cut some pieces off and I did spray this whole thing with rust inhibitor. So it's, it is not rusting at all and I am very pleased about that. Look at this cute microfiber towel. It's got watermelons on it.
big old brass crane. How cool is that? My in-laws got this for me for Christmas um, because I love like mid-century stuff and I have a lot of ugh, I have a lot of brass cranes and we saw this we like to go antiquing and we saw this at a really neat flea market in Joplin and I had never seen one this big and yeah I just thought it was really cool but I didn't have the money for it but then they got it for me for Christmas so it lives on top of my Mills boat and I think it's really cool. Okay, I'm just gonna hose off my little plant friends now. And I like to use like kind of medium temperature water. I mean, they don't like, in the wild, these things just get rained on and they don't get to pick the water temperature. So I don't know, a lot of people seem to be really concerned about water temperatures. I am not, like I don't use like boiling water or ice water, but yeah, just anything really. If it feels okay to you, it's probably okay for the plant. Pretty and clean it looks. Okay, so these plants have gotten out of the bath. They're still a little bit damp, but they'll be okay. This one was from my other cabinet. For the first time, I'm finding myself wondering, do I really need three for giddy eyes? I don't know that I do. Okay, so that, um, that my intentions for my cleaning day today proved definitely to be overzealous as they often do. And 
It took way longer than I thought and I'm really tired now and it's um, starting to get dark now and I need to start cooking dinner. So I'm just gonna show you how my cabinets turned out and I'm rearranging them and the, the rearranging is always kind of a process for me, figuring out where things will and won't fit. So I'll just show you how it ended up and that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, please like and subscribe if you did and follow me on Instagram at Queen City Tropicals and I'll see you again soon. <laughs>